quite a cracking day. I said to myself, it's winter in Victoria. It's too good to be working. So we knocked off a bit early. Find a bit of single trail somewhere. And uh, go for a ride out on the X-Trainer again because uh, we're in lockdown, can't get the adventure bike out. The x trainings uh, getting a lot of love at the moment. So yeah, we'll go out, uh, head out this track and um, just find a bit of uh, single trail. And again, this is some of our local stuff in Gippsland. And um, have a bit of fun. Life's not all about work. Enjoy. Show a bit of respect for the landowners here and just cruise past their place. Nice windy little single trail here. Might even be a bit of water in the creek at the moment. Have been down this a couple of times, but but not 100% sure where it goes. Last nice time we went through here, it's full of water. No, beautiful. Oi. It's about to bank into that. The uh, tracks around here, this particular part of Victoria, actually uh, shared by a lot of people. Walkers, mountain bikers, and motorcyclists of course. And it all seems to be pretty okay. I never sort of got a dirty look from anyone being on a motorbike. Everyone just waves and smiles. So forgive me guys, as I said, took up dirt bikes 49, had an adventure bike when I was about 22, spent a year on that, away on that, just took a year out of life and uh, travelled up the east coast of Australia, but uh, that was a Tenere, a 600 Tenere, big six single pot bloody thing it was, super heavy, big high tank, massive seat height. I'd never ride one these days, but as a result you re really struggled if you took a bush. Eh? I didn't really do any bush riding until I was 49. Went, went and bought a 230 and bought my son a 150. So that's why I'm so slow guys. Haven't been doing this all my life. So forgive me if it's kind of boring, but anyway. I just want to record a bit of my, where I spent my time. Used to keep quite detailed photo albums back in the day, but got, as a result, I got lots of photos of that tenor array. But when digital photography came in, we all seemed to stop printing out photos and so I sort of turned to Facebook for a little while and went oh yeah this is a good way of keeping a 
A little reminder of what you've done with your life. Hey. But ultimately, I was... When we got into motorbikes, I thought, oh, I didn't want to necessarily just do little grabs of video and photos and started watching a lot of YouTube researching motorbikes and that sort of stuff. So, made a couple of YouTube clips a few years ago, nothing to write over about. But just of late I've decided uh, I'll do a few more and that's Dirt Bike ADV. This is where the X-Trainer excels. Doing my research over the years, the KDM 200s were legendary. One of the reasons they were legendary was it was a 200 engine in a 125 frame. As soon as they put them in the 250, 300 frames, everyone went away from them. And I think that's where uh, X-Trainer or Beta have got it right with the X-Trainer. I think they're a, a 300 engine in a 125 frame. And I think that uh, strikes a chord with a few people. Oh yeah, there we go. Oi, 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 oi. Slow down, young fella. <laughs> yeah, so a 300 two stroke in a 125 frame. Got a bit of a review on them. As I said, I've owned one before. Wasn't versatile for me at the moment, at the time. So I sold it, but now I've bought a 480 and I've got this. This is my single trail weapon. This is what I like to do. I don't have it on the pipe all the time, I'm just... talking it through these bends, just taking it easy. Mainly because I'm a crap rider, but... But yeah, this is where they excel the X-Trainers, as I said in the review. They're not a versatile bike, but... Oh, there, I missed the track. But for this sort of stuff, they're awesome. They are just absolutely fun. One, two, five, train with a 300 engine. I said in the review recently that it's, the tank is a fairly limited factor of this bike, but with 7.5 litres. It's actually 8.5 litres. I looked it up, got that wrong. And they got a, quite a large reserve on them. So I ran out the other day at 66, 67 k's, kept reserve. I could have got at least another 20 k's. I could have got about 85 k's, I reckon. Maybe 90. Um, so yeah, quite a large reserve, which is kind of interesting, uh, really, all things considered. So you probably do get your 80, uh, 85 k's out of them, 90 k's, if you ride them not too hard. I want to get home from work. It's always dark, uh, you know. I'm just talking about bloody getting fit. The old fella's extremely unfit. 
saying I should get out on a bike or a mountain bike or something like that and just get my uh, lung capacity up a bit, but yeah, time's busy, but anyway, every time I get an afternoon like this, <laughs> I'd rather go ride a dirt bike than a road bike and get fit. Such is life. <laughs> This is one of my favourite areas to ride. <laughs> Quite a mixture of um, surfaces here. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's silty chocolate cake here. And basketball sized boulders. as you can see. Oh, and a bit of sun. Some of my taxes in uh, use there. They've cut, well, these are little swamp wallaby. Cut massive fire breaks since the fires this year, early 2020 that is. Cut massive fire breaks along, basically from the Daddy Nongs right through to the border. And that's one of them there, that's the continuation of it there. Never seen water in here before. The creek's actually flowing. There you go. Kind of cool. Boy, we got a cross here. <laughs> I'll let the young fella go through there. So guys, we um, basically uh, got across the creek and decided it was uh, time to start heading home and as you can see in the footage now, you know, the headlights start to show up on the trees and uh, yeah, it's starting to certainly get a bit dark and we end up, as you'll see later in the 
the footage uh, end up pretty well in the dark so uh, enduro bikes aren't known for their good headlights so we just sort of have to coast home but nonetheless good ride good thing to do after work um, it's great when you can do it knock off a little bit early and just get out and do these sorts of ride we're very lucky in Ypsilam um, we're lucky we're only in stage three lockdown as well too but um, you can sort of expect to see um, in the, the coming weeks once we get out of stage three uh, a few more of the um, certainly day rides at the start maybe but um, certainly um, uh, some more at uh, overnighters and two or three nighters got some plans for uh, the high country and east skips land and even out into the little desert and the um, border track and that sort of stuff i want to just get out there on the 480 and uh, and do some uh, two or three night trips and um, yeah just document them for my own sake as i said before but just to um, um, yeah have a bit of fun and see some different country so they won't be too far away depending on when lockdown finishes but um, certainly I'll get out on the 480 hopefully over the next few weeks just doing some day rides anyway um, there's a lot of rain around at the moment so all the all the rivers in the high country will be too deep to cross so um, we can't get up there but anyway we'll just roll with the punches at the moment and see where we end up hope you enjoyed this only a short video and uh, certainly nothing exciting and um, you can certainly understand now why I'm such a crap rider when uh, I explain that uh, I haven't been riding for that long. But anyway, hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one.